question. Yes, ma'am. You said the first thing about taking a book as a proof for your belief. You said no internal contradictions. How well do you know this book? I got this from your friend the other day. It's the Bible for all of you who don't know. I don't know which version it is. I don't know who's writing, who decided what to put it in here. John, we'll read John 1, 17, 18, 18. Do you know this one? I'll read what it says here. It says, no one has ever seen God, but God is the one and only who is at the Father's side has made him known. Right here, it says, no one has ever seen God, okay? Mm -hmm. You believe that, you take that, you want to read it? That's your book. This is what you take. You bet. Right here. Same chapter, John 5, 19. Right. Jesus, it says here, Jesus gave them this answer. I tell you the truth, the son can do nothing by himself. He can do only what he sees his father doing. No one sees, he only does what he sees. Internal contradiction. Inter so then this book has internal contradictions. Can we agree on that? Oh, you don't say yes or no answers. What do you say about this internal contradiction? When you, one of the basic principles of interpreting any book is you have to read in context. And obviously, when you read John chapter 1, the main point is Jesus is God in human form. He begins. But in then, the begin but then Ma'am, am I allowed to answer you or not? But you're not making sense. You say the same oh, well, then, thing Well, then why are you wasting your time standing again? here talking to because me if I'm not making sense? Because look at all these people yeah, here yeah, who have questions. There's Fine, then why don't you only go on to other people? If, if I don't make sense, ma'am, why, why do you waste you, your time? Why am I going to let you misguide them with your misguidance? Oh, I'd I see. Sit here and so you have to, to sort of be a parasite it. who comes in here and just feeds off the people who are listening to uh, uh, you talk? Absolutely, why not? Well, you've well, already made a fool of yourself here anyways. Why, that's pretty I, sad. Why can't you just be open and honest and have an honest dialogue? Let me explain this. Okay. Explain this. Thank you. John chapter 1. John begins with the words, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Crystal clearly, John 1, 1 is stating the deity of Christ. The word there is Christ. The Greek word is logos. Obviously, by reading John 1, you know he's talking about Christ. Obviously, he's hearkening right back to Genesis chapter 1, verse 1, which says, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. John is taking that and putting it in Greek. John 1.1, 1, 1, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Nobody has seen God. I haven't seen God. You haven't seen God. But the claim of John is, and the claim of Jesus is, that he is God, revealing himself in human form. That's clearly, unmistakably, what John 1 is teaching. And you don't have to have a PhD in New Testament. Just read it yourself, but and you'll figure that John. out. It's both John. I didn't flip to even a different chapter. It's two pages away. Both John saying, one saying, no one sees God. The other one saying, Jesus sees God. Is it saying Jesus sees himself? Is this something that everyone who yes, reads the Bible Yes, that's exactly takes right. Jesus is claiming to, to be God. Revealing himself in human form. That's his and claim. And he sees I'm himself. God. No, you're Why not God. Why would John write that? You're not God. God. What's the difference? Well, if you die and rise from the dead, I will listen very closely why to everything you have to say. Why, why is that the one thing that you take? Why did don't you see you take... George Washington inaugurated first president of the United States? Other people did. I trust that. Good. And other people saw Christ die on a cross and they saw him risen from the dead. But they have internal contradictions. No, there's no contradiction there. We human beings do not see God. But when God chose to become a human being in Jesus Christ, obviously Jesus knew the Father very, very intimately, very, very well.